Do you think I'd have this many honeybee colonies if I did what other beekeepers are doing in the United States? If you go back through and look at my videos, I work hard all winter long to keep my colonies going. If they get small, I bring them inside. I predicted a couple months ago that I'd have 75 colonies about the time that I was ready to do mating nukes. And I have 76, but one had queen cells, and the colony was really struggling. And the reason why honeybees are struggling, and I keep saying this, most of the time I say it in my videos, is because of the chemicals, the toxic chemicals in their environment, the neonicotinoids. It's in the honey. It's in the pollen. It's in the wax. A couple years ago, I had a farmer 150 yards south of me spraying neonicotinoids on a windy day. The wind has come from that direction. Within two or three hours of seeing him out there, my bees started dying. Contacted the state of Michigan the next day because the farmer didn't apologize after I contacted them. And yes, the state said your bees die from neonicotinoids. And then a month after they told me that, they told me the farmer did nothing wrong. So that goes to show you how corrupt our government is. And my wife's just gone through breast cancer because of all the toxic chemicals in the environment. So the government is my enemy. Hey, I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm not a coward to say that. So if that makes me a domestic terrorist, well, I guess I'm a domestic terrorist. We need to overthrow the government. And Chris Hedges' YouTube video, go on YouTube or Google Chris Hedges, see some of his lectures. He said it's going to have to get really bad in this country before anybody stands up and does anything about it. So expect things to get worse before it gets better. Because you people just don't seem to understand it's not going to get any better until you stand up against the government and stop let stop the corporations. Don't let them control what goes on in this country. So here I am, struggling to keep my bees alive. And if I did what you guys did, I wouldn't have this many colonies. I started winter with 95. I've watched some of my queens die a few couple of weeks ago. Watched them die, and i got to say it's toxic chemicals. To actually watch a queen die. One of them had spasms and the other one was just real slow. Stopped laying a couple, two or three days beforehand. And just real slow and ended up being in the bottom of the hive. And I ended up killing her because she wasn't coming around. So this right here is, they had a queen cell. And apparently they gave up on it. It's not there anymore. So I'm going to combine this colony with this one here. And when I clean out the bottom of my hives quite often, and when you see a lot of dead bees in the bottom of your hives like that, if they're in the general area where the colony is, and you know that happens quite often after you cleaned out the hive, that's toxic chemicals killing your bees right there. So here, see? See how this frame is... A lot of brood here, probably wasted. It's probably not going to make it. And that's how small the cluster is right there. And what they did with their queen cell, I don't know. They must have tore it down. So they'll get combined with this colony here. So let me pause this. I'll combine this one. Then I'll just randomly pick another colony and show you. If they have a queen, you can get the queen laying. And the queen lays more than a toxic chemicals kill. You can bring that colony back. You just got to make sure you don't leave them out in the cold. You got to bring them in at night when it's cold. Or bring them in during the day when it's cold. So I'm going to pause this. Okay, colony 15 does not exist anymore. That was a 2019 queen. And she died. And they attempted to make queen cells. And it's April. I let them go ahead and try. And it failed. So that was my first attempt. I will write that down in my notebook. That one failed. So... Not every mating nuke you do is going to make it. This queen right here is two months shy of being three years old. I just checked a few days ago. She's still alive. So let's go uh, randomly check. See, every colony here, every hive that has a strap, these are the ones I bring in at night when it's cold and then if it's cold during the day or if it's raining I just go ahead and I bring them in before it gets cold so let's check 112 here I'll pause this and see how this one's doing okay I took out one of my insulated frame fillers right here and they still have some global pollen patty which means I haven't checked them in a while and um, I lost one colony during the winter out of 95 one colony died because they got too cold they were sitting right there in the window and 
I didn't have the heat turned up a lot inside there because I didn't want it to get too warm for the bees that were inside and I didn't realize they were getting too cold and I found out they died. So that was the only colony I lost during the winter. I feed my bees Domino cane sugar and they seem to do really well on that. At the end of winter when the queen starts laying and I take that shim out in the center of my hives and take away their cane sugar, that's when I notice the bees really start to die because they're consuming the honey that's in the hive and the honey's full of toxic chemicals from all these crop farmers in my area. And the government knows this, that they're spraying toxic chemicals in their environment, but they don't care. Corporations are buying off our politicians. This is a small colony. I'd say they're stable. It'll be a while before I can leave them outside. They probably can't handle anything colder than the 50s. But it's such a small colony. That one didn't have the queen. This right here's got to have the queen on it. Well, let me pause this. Maybe there's no queen in there. I'm going to pause this and get my glasses and take a good look at this. There's the queen. She is, she was basically in the outside of the five frames of nuke there. I don't understand. She didn't really have enough time to run from the center to the outside while I was opening that. So maybe there's something wrong with her. Or maybe she did get over there. I don't know. But anyway, I'll have to keep an eye on her. So that's the trouble I have. It's a toxic chemicals killing my honeybees and my honeybee queens. So if you guys want to continue to uh, put beekeeping videos on and not mentioning that, not getting the word out to all the other beekeepers in the United States, we all have to stand together. Um, do a pollinating strike. The big beekeepers, they do a lot of complaining, crying about their dead colonies. Stop going to the California almonds every every winter. If you guys stop doing that, we could we could get something done in this country. Okay? Thank you.